and welcome back to the channel, everybody. And if you're new here, hello, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. Do all those good things. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today we're talking about the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. That's right, guys. The Grand Cherokee's been fully redesigned. Now, back in the day, the Grand Cherokee was top of the Jeep's lineup. Now we have the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer. So they took this new Grand Cherokee, knowing it's like the middle of the lineup now, but added a bunch of tech, a bunch of features, and added some cool new materials to make it one of a kind, to make it really stand out. So if you don't truly need a full-size uh, SUV, this mid-size one is the right one for you. So looking at it, people might say, hey, I know that this is the Grand Cherokee, but what about this Grand Cherokee L that came out a few months ago? What's the difference? Basically, the L stands for long wheelbase. So the, before, the Grand Cherokees were only two-road SUVs, but now the L is a third-road SUV. So overall, it's a little over 10 inches longer. From an exterior, they look almost the same. The rear quarter window is slightly different. The roof line trim is a little different as well. But inside, you have that third row in the back, which is awesome to see. So if you want a little bit more cargo and space for people, but you don't want to move up to the Wagoneer or get another SUV, that might be the right one for you. But the regular Grand Cherokee, it looks sharp in my personal opinion. The front end, the signature Jeep slide grills up front, everything up front is chiseled and sculpted, and awesome looking headlights. It's the next evolution of the front end design and overall design feeling for Jeep. Side profile, nice rugged body lines. Everything's kind of chiseled in there. It overall has a squared off uh, silhouette in the rear end. Sharp looking taillights, a little bit classy. Overall, depending on what trim you get, will change up the trim pieces on the vehicle, changing the wheel wells and the colors of things. Make it look a little uh, more rugged looking or more luxurious looking, which is kind of a cool thing to see. And the interior. The interior is awesome, in my personal opinion. They took a lot of attention to detail. Everything looks handcrafted. It's not obviously, but on the highest trim, you get quilted leather, fine stitching, real woods, real metals, metal on top of the speakers, really nice looking switch gear. Everything feels more purposeful, more attention to detail, like I said. It feels like you're in a Mercedes or something like that, but at a discounted price. In front of the driver, you can get a digital gauge cluster with a heads-up display shining right on your window. This big, massive Uconnect system is the latest Uconnect system, and Uconnect was already a great system in general, so having a larger screen, more detailed, more refined, is awesome to see. Below there, like I said, you have better switch gear. It feels more premium than anything we've ever had in a Jeep before. And on those higher trims, you can option a screen for the passenger. Now that was shown off in the Grand Wagoneer and stuff like that. So seeing cool tech like that trickle down to the Grand Cherokee, it's a cool thing to see. Nice comfortable seats, and like I said, if you want the L, you can get that third row and have that extra space. Now what powers this vehicle? Now obviously we have the carryover engines from the previous generation. The good old Pentastar V6, that's a 3.6 liter V6. It makes like 293 horsepower, so pretty good numbers. That'll be on basically all the lineup. The higher trims, you can get the Hemi V8. That's the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. It makes like 357 horsepower, so it's got more power than the Pentastar. But the new talk of the town is the 4xE. Yes, we have a 4xE model. Jeep says all the Jeeps in the next few years will have a 4xE model. That takes a 2 liter turbocharged uh, 4 cylinder and pairs it to a motor, a little electric motor and a little electric battery. That combined makes some really good numbers. 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. So that will be a very, very powerful Jeep. And the cool thing is it's a plug-in hybrid system. It's very sophisticated. You get about 25 miles of pure electric range. So that's cool to see. If you want to just cruise around in pure EV and nice and silent, you can do that. This vehicle is isolated. Like I said, the attention to detail. Not only is the trim pieces nice, but you have the double plane glass, all the sound insulation. So it's truly luxurious and quiet. Now, if you're someone that's more rugged and adventurous, you can get a, a Trailhawk. And the Trailhawk's cool to see. I always like the Trailhawk models. It's the most off-roaded one. It's got the skid plates underneath, the good all-terrain tires. Uh, and, uh, other models, like the Renegade and stuff like that, the Compass, they have a lift. But the cool thing about the Grand Cherokee is you get an air ride suspension. And that's a cool thing to see. On-road, the air ride suspension is super smooth, super luxurious. And the cool thing is if you're loading stuff, you can lower it to its lowest setting, load everything. It's a little easier for that. But when you take it off-road and stuff like that, it raises the vehicle to its max setting. That's about 11.3 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty impressive. It's still a very capable vehicle. You get the red tow hooks. You get a nice appearance package. It trains up the trim pieces and stuff like that. But you can get a 4xE version. You lose a little bit of that ground clearance, but if you're someone that wants to have that uh, hybrid capabilities, that EV range, you can still get it in a Trailhawk 
or you can get a luxurious version. That's the cool thing about the 4xe is you can get a, a cheaper one, a more affordable one. You can get one that's cool and rugged, or you can get one that's a little bit more luxurious. They're giving you options here with the powertrains and trim levels. So depending on what you want and how much you want to spend, you have the right Jeep for you, which is cool to see. Now, I really like this vehicle. I think they did a good job overall. But I wonder what you guys think. What are things you like and don't like about this vehicle? Would you choose the two-door traditional uh, Grand Cherokee or go for that third row one? Are you someone that just wants a next luxurious vehicle? Or do you want to go off-roading and have fun? Let me know in your comments down below. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. A little of everything. But please, like comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.